hello everyone my name is hassan and today's video i will share about zot from tracking with google analytics and google tag manager there are many ways a zot from can integrate it with your website if i open my website for example maybe in your website there is a button and when you click the button the form will appear this way with the iframe as well as it can be can be a sticky sidebar button when you click on it the form will appear on a pop-up like before and as well as you can integrate the form directly with your website and all of the cases if you inspect the form just right click and go to inspect and you will see that the form is integrated as a iframe form but if we go to another page of my website there is few more form and if we if i scroll down this is the same form but this form is not iframe form if i inspect here and scroll up you see that it is directly html form uh, from my job form settings if i go to edit form and if i go to the publish you will see a lot of way you can publish your form in your website this is the script you can add this script actually when you add this script uh, this way you are able to include the form as a iframe as well as if i go to uh, this option is iframe option pop-up lightbox and source code this is the source code if i click here you will see this is not iframe code it is html code if you're familiar with html so the form is directly integrated with the website without any iframe as well as you can connect the form with your website as a link for example if i click this link you see that the it has opened with a new tab with a zot form and but the form is uh, redirected the directly in the zot form website today's video i will share about details to track all kind of zot form as well as i will show how we can collect the user input values uh, if we need it at first if you see that if the form is integrated with the iframe like my home page this way or this way and this way you just need to click the phone and you can inspect the phone and easily you can check whether it is iframe form or normal form you just need to scroll up you see that this is the iframe form to tracking your from your website you need some tracking code i have wrote all of the code for you you just need to come to this website i will share the link of this code in the video description you just need to click the copy code after copy the code uh, i am going to google tag manager the tag manager is connected with my website from my website i am going to uh, tags uh, from the tags option i need to create a new tag just we need, i need to create um, create a new uh, new button and from here i am creating a tag so i can write here you can give any kind of name which is align it i'm just giving zot form submit that's the layer this and from here the tag configuration we need to take the custom html and you just need to paste the code and for the triggering settings we need to select all pages and save it now if i preview our settings if we go to the preview and connect and now i am clicking the button to appear the form i am just clicking here and if we click submit button this case is if i go back to my gtm preview you see there is no event gtm data layer event but if we fill up the form by putting the dummy information and submit button you see that the form has been submitted and it is showing the thank you message and if now i am go i go to the google tag Man manager preview you see that this is the data layer event the event name is dot form submit 
and now if you are a professional worker now you can easily create your google analytics event with this data layer event but uh, if you need to see details you need to check the video next part and one thing i like to share uh, you see that we are getting only the event name and form id if your form is integrated as iframe form that case is you are not able to collect the user input values but if i go to my about page and submit this form i already shown that this form is integrated with a source code but and if i again submit the form you see that form has been submitted and going to thank you page but this case is if i show the gtm preview you see that the same event has fired but this case is we also getting the user inputted values so any cases if you need the form jot form even as well as the input values user it may require for enhanced uh, conversion tracking or many, many other tracking you need this user inputted value that cases of course you need to use the source code not iframe code or any other code you just need to copy this code and paste it in your website so this is and another one this is the about page and when someone click this button it will go to the job form link if you see this situation that case is you are able to track this button click using uh, this link url and you need to use a thank you page so that after sub submitting the form from the job form website it should redirect back to your website so that you can track this to do that uh, from the Zot form settings you need to click the settings and you will find the thank you page you need to check the redirect and external link and choose the link where you would like to redirect the form so this is related to gtm part and now i am going to show you how we can send this information in google analytics as a ga4 event to do that i am going back to google tags and from here i need to create a variable because i like to collect the form id from the variables we need to create a new variable uh, by clicking the new from here i am giving the name data layer variable form id the name is totally up to you and the variable configuration we need to choose data layer event if we scroll down a search here data layer variable actually and here we need to choose the right value for this if i click here or anywhere of the previous data layer event you will see that this is the key for the uh, form id you just need to copy the form id this way and paste it here this is the form id it will create a variable as the form id and save it and next part is we need to create a trigger so that we can trigger our real event by clicking triggers we need to click new trigger i'm just giving the name dot form submit and the tech configuration we need to use the custom event and custom event should be exactly matched with the event we are getting from google tag assistant this is the event name you can easily copy here and paste it here and save it now it is time to create the real tag i'm just clicking the tags and clicking new and ga4 because i am sending this information for google analytics for ga4 jot one submit you can give any name which is aligned with your work and then finally tag configuration we need to choose google analytics if and from here we need to choose the ga4 event and this is the measurement id i have already created measurement id in my variable you can directly put your measurement id which you will find your google analytics dashboard and from event name this name is important the name 
you need to put the name which name will show as a google analytics event so you can give any name i am just giving a name for this form submit lead form submit or you can give the name which name you like to show as a event in google analytics dashboard and from the event parameter i like to send the form id also so i am clicking add parameter from here form id and we have already created the form id you can click plus icon and you should find the created form id or you can easily press double curly press it will show as a suggestion we can choose from here and then from the triggering we need to choose our trigger which we have created for jot from submit this way and finally save it now it is time to check our setup so i am going to preview again now it is connected and if i fill up any of the form for example this one all of the form are same i'm just filling this form with the dummy information and choose anything and submit it you see the form has been submitted and it redirected to thank you page but if i go to actually we made a mistake here we just need to reload here because it is redirecting to thank you page but we don't like to redirect it thank you page we just need to check this option and save it actually the setting should be this not redirect an external link and now again i am going to home page and from here i am if we fill the form again this way and fill and submit it now it is showing the thank you here as well as we are getting the data layer event and if i switch and we see that the tag fire is gf for jot from submit tag has fired and if we switch to our g tag we see that the lead from submit event has fired for google analytics and if we go to our google analytics and from the analytics if we check our debug view sometimes it takes few time for appearing the debug view the information again if i submit another form for example we like to test it again by clicking about page maybe the home page I'm just clicking booking appointment again and fill the information with the dummy takes another thing and submit the form the form has been submitted and you see that again we are getting a uh, lead jot from submit and the GA4 jot from submit even expired and if we switch to GTEC you see that the lead from submit even with all of the information and if i come back to our google just i am giving a reload the page so that we can see our event in the debug view anyway some reason it is not showing but i am pretty sure that it will show in show for your case 
so this is all about your drone tracking but and if i recap the video then if the form is integrated with your website as a iframe that cases you are not able to collect the user inputted value you are only able to track the form submission but if you like to if you need to collect the user inputted value that cases you also you need to embed this form as a source code so i am showing the thing again from the publish section you need to go to embed from embed you need to choose the source these cases you will find the user inputted value in data layer if i show the thing again and i am just submitting the form has been submitted and if i go to my job form submit and you see that we are getting now form id and other input values and if you need to collect this information you just need to create variable like before in this cases you need to use inputs dot for example if you need to collect the email address then inputs dot this way you can collect the email address as well as all other information and finally if the form is outside of your website for example if i go uh, back to my website again something like this that cases you are you need to collect this button click as well as after submitting form the form should have a direct link to your website that cases you are able to track the form by uh, thank you face view with google tag manager i think you are able to do this very easily so today all yeah i am back to the google tag manager and i am back to the google tag manager and this is the debug view you see that now we are getting a lead from submit event as well as the our form id and all other information sometime it's uh, so some reason it was delay so it is all for today and hope this video will help you to tracking any kind of zot from and if you have any question or any requirement you can write down the video description below or if you're watching the video from my website you can comment uh comment in the below of the web page and if you like my video you can subscribe my channel to get this kind of video more quickly so thank you everybody for watching this video have a good day